So I want the top of this printer stand to be completely flat, so I'm going to put a piece of glass on top. The problem is that the plywood top is so bowed in the middle that the glass would bend, so I need a flat surface for my flat surface. Here's the table prior to applying resin. As you can see, I tried to apply some Bondo to fill in the gap between the plywood and the glass. However, the Bondo didn't shape out as flatly as I wanted to, and I had sanded way too much attempting to get it flat to where it's kind of useless now. So I had another idea, which is to make a temporary mold box around the glass pane and then pour in a small amount of polyurethane resin and hopefully the resin will self-level and form a flat surface that the glass can sit on. If this doesn't work, I'll probably scrap the entire project. The pin torch is used to pop some of the bubbles that appear on the surface of the resin.
Here's the resin top after it's been allowed to cure. Pretty pleased with how it turned out. I don't think I could get a flatter surface than this with what I have available to me. So pretty pleased about that. I took out my power sander and sanded the edges because it kind of cupped up as liquids normally do at the edges so I had to sand that down and put a small bevel on it. But the center of it has been left untouched. All I have to do now is probably put some wood putty on it, fill some stakes and nail holes and then paint it and bring it inside. Here's the printer on the stand. It's all finished up. I put a uh, coat of roll-on primer and then spray painted the stand black to match my existing desk somewhat at least. Um, the reason I used the glass tabletop and insist on having a flat surface for the printer to sit on was because this particular printer is not very robust and so I was afraid that if I put it on a warped surface that it would conform to that surface and come out of alignment and just produce bad prints so I wanted a perfectly flat surface for it to lay on. These bungee cords right here that I installed, I installed a small hook underneath. I apply downward pressure on here and there's also one at the back to do two things. Number one would be to press it against the flat glass so that it uh, conforms to the flatness and will hopefully produce better prints that way and also to keep it from rattling against the glass and causing a lot of noise due to the vibration caused by the stepper motors. And so far there doesn't seem to be any noise other than this screen jiggling in its frame which I need to fix. Down here on the bottom I have my spool. Uh, it's almost empty actually. Uh, some spare parts. This little light which helps with lightening the bed, the painter's tape of course, and some filament stored on the carpet underneath. This particular printer is the JG Aura A3, which is kind of hard to say, but uh, it's basically a Prusa, Prusa, Prusa I3 um, with a metal chassis, which is kind of flimsy, actually. Um, I don't want to do a full review on this printer, but if I had to say one thing about it, I would just say don't. There are cheaper printers out there that would be just as good.